It's Australia's most populated city, and today the population expands with one of the most popular motorsport series in the world. Hi everyone and welcome to Sydney Motorsport Park, about 45 kilometres to the west of Sydney. It's the third different track we raced at in this region and Sean Semley, judging by practice we saw during the weekend, proved some fast and intense racing. Yeah, a whole new circuit with some big fast areas but really tight areas. we got a turn number five that uh, I'm expecting a lot of carnage right there. There's going to be some passing, none of it's going to be clean passing in that area. And then on top of it, we got uh, young talent, old talent. Russ Engel, those of you that follow Supercar, he's here this weekend, man, and uh, he said the gloves are off. Well, we know in this sport, or this form of motorsport, that happens a lot, but Russ, he's the real deal Holyfield, man, so he's ready to put the Dukes up. While the Enforcer joins the field, we've also got a new format, similar to what we saw at Road America a few weeks ago. We're going to race on the full circuit at some point here. Well, that's the thing. It's a, it's a tighter circuit in the beginning, but then at the end, they're going all out using the entire track. Thing is, they haven't had practice on the entire track, and they're not going to get it. So uh, there's some sections that you guys are not familiar with. A guy like Ross or a Paul Morris, the dude, they've got, clocked a lot of laps here. Matty Brown as well. A lot of these other fast guys, they've got the talent, the ability, but they don't really know where they're going. So uh, that's certainly going to add something different to it there. Uh, do you want to be in the league towards the end? I don't know, especially being one of these news guys, new guys that don't know this track. So there's a lot of different things going to come uh, come together to uh, find out who's going to be crowned the champion at the end that uh, we have not done in the past. It's great to be back in Australia for Boost Mobile Stadium Super Trucks, presented by Speed Energy here in Sydney. It's time to go racing. Hey, calling the action alongside of me up here in the booth is IndyCar, Sprint Car, and Modified Legend. Davey Hamilton Sr. Davey, this track, it's a new track to Stadium Super Trucks. A lot of different things going on, but the draft on the front stretch, that's going to be huge as they punch a massive hole in the air. But then coming into this big sweeping turn one, I see a lot of passing happening here. A lot of speed. You see Robbie Gordon taking us around on a, uh, on a lap to show you guys what this track looks like. Very technical, even though that long straightaway, there's some really tight corners, good braking zones, and good places to pass. And then as we get into turn two, it gets really tight. This is a big off camber uphill you'll see these trucks hiking it up it's like a big torque wheelie up on three wheels through this section they'll set it down going into turn three but then boost mobile sends them flying as the ground drops out from underneath them big huge downhill landing right there going into turn four not too bad here in practice see most of them getting through but getting into this section here this is where we see trouble in practice trouble in qualifying i see a lot of passing happening there but it's going to be aggressive move out of the way elbows up passing well that's the way this racing is and that's why people love it especially over here in australia they go crazy over this here robbie is hitting another jump right here not as quite as much air as the first one but then they're getting ready for some tight technical areas good places to pass again but wait till they come on this long straightaway coming up now they're allowed to get two tires off the track into the grass into the dirt four that's going to be a penalty this is an area we're going to see a lot of that they're going to be going back to race control saying hey was that legit was it too much is he pushing the envelopes of what's okay as then we come down another huge jump dropping down the front stretch and now they're wide open pinned out in third gear they're going to be up on the revolutionary lights on the dash are going to be lit up right here as they follow into the draft and that completes a lap here at city motorsports park and this right now is our points after 14 rounds of racing. Matty Brabham, he's in the developer's truck with a considerable lead over Gavin Harlan. Robbie Gordon still holding on to a top three. And then moving on down, Ari Leyendike as well, still tamed within the top five. And here is our starting grid. It is a reverse grid. The better you do in qualifying, the farther back you start. You have trouble in qualifying, you're starting up front. Matty Nolan not having the qualifying run he wanted to. He's on the front outside, and next to him is Russ Ingall, Paul Morris, Blade Hildebrand, Hoffman, and Harlan. On down to Robbie Gordon Potts. And Matty Brabham put on a clinic, as we saw earlier, two seconds faster than the second place finisher in qualifying. Right, he's just amazing to these trucks. He catches on to everything and anything he races. Him starting in the back, that's what makes this racing so exciting. There's the Hallmark Trust. Com. Cole Potts, number 60. We'll see him later on. He does well in the pack. And there's the dude, Paul Morris, the number one 2017 champ. 
and new to the series, but not to racing, winning, or championships or anything. Russ Engel, he's out of supercar, and he is with us as we're about ready to go green flag racing. Matty Nolan, the front end comes up quick off of that truck. Big start jumps the rest of the pack as they head down into turn one. Big, fast, sweeping turns right here. Well, keep an eye on Paul Morris. He doesn't usually, he qualifies better than he did here normally. He's in that third position, already trying to go underneath for, for P2 right now. Well, Morris having some mechanical issues earlier on. They got that fixed. Bad news is he didn't qualify the way he wanted. Didn't get his championship points going for that weekend. But he did start further to the front. That's going to give him an opportunity to do better for this particular race. And that way, Morris does not have to be a part of this melee that we see going on right there. As we see, it looks like it's Hoffman, Harlan, Robbie Gordon, Brabham, Cole Potts, all of them trying to be in the same spot at the same time. Not enough room for all of them to get through. Well, with these short races, but Brabham knows he needs to get to the front, and he tried to do it all at once. They all got together there, beating and banging, but these trucks, t these trucks take it, man. It's great to watch these guys. Body panels will be flying off here shortly. Well, and that's the thing. Matty Brabham, he's like, okay, I got to start all the way in the back, but he wants to. You get passing points for the championship, so he wants to be able to pass everyone, get those additional points. If you're starting up at the front, you have a better chance to win this particular race? Absolutely. For the championship and the overall, not the hot setup. He who qualifies fastest gets four, five points. Second fastest gets four points on down to fifth fastest qualifying gets one point. Six through back, they get none. So he gets the qualifying points. He gets the $3,000, but Matty Brown has to start in the back. Our guys that struggled in qualifying, they get no points, they get no money, but they're starting up front right now. So as you see, it looks like Osland security, number one, Paul Morris, he has moved into an early lead right behind him. Blade Hildebrand, he drops in, and now we're on board with Robbie Gordon, the number seven Speed Energy KMC Wheels Toyota Tire Truck, looking back at Cole Pops. And you see the speed going down into turn one right now. These guys are carrying a lot of speed down to there. See those trucks torqued over, as you say, but Paul Morris, he's the guy leading the field right now, and that is no surprise. On board with Robbie Gordon at Bright Orange. Big contact with the Hoff 47 live. That's the multi-platinum recording artist live. Think Loud Development, United Fiber and Data. Number 47, the Hoff. He makes some contact right there, moving forward up into the pack. Now he is hot on the tail of Matty Nolan. And, and Brabham still oh, behind Robbie. Oh, what Nolan. a landing. Woo. VP Fuels getting really front and low, almost going over the handlebars The number 21. He pulls off the side, has to collect himself. Wild rides. We get a replay here on board Matty Nolan. Uh-oh. That's never a good sight when all you see is the pavement down below you when it almost nosed over. But look at that truck, that suspension, taking that big hit like that. He gets a little out of control, but saves it. I will say good job, Matty Nolan. Kudos for collecting yourself there, keeping that truck moving in the right direction. It's going around the outside. It is Blade Hildebrand in the Empire Destructive Heat Wave truck. Is he able to make the pass? He's not. He actually moves back position. Gavin Harlan in number 55. We see him striking. I call him the Cobra because you don't see him. He's just hanging out and all of a sudden, boom! He strikes, he'll make Man, a he pass does it and right move there. Forward. He gets a two for one, Dave. Two for one underneath Paul. That's surprising right there. Paul, don't worry, he will not give up. He's going to be back after Harlan. But Harlan's done such a great job in these trucks. Been doing it quite a while now, and he, he knows how to make it happen. Look at the air they're catching off that jump downhill. And David, you know what it's like to be out there in these trucks and making these quick moves. A lot of things are happening very quickly. Uh, maybe with your pass, we're racing an IndyCar and things. Maybe the top speed's not as fast, but there's a lot of aggressive moves happening in the cab and around you in these trucks. You know, the thing with these trucks, are so much fun to drive. They really are, because you do so many things with them, and, and they're really controllable, although they don't look it. But it does take that trick, man. You need to learn how to run the brakes, the, the rear uh, uh, braking getting into these corners. And you got to be careful because the brakes on these in general aren't the best. They're not like a racing yeah. brake, so you yeah. can't get them too hot. But they are a blast to drive. And that's the way they go. They got the Hawk Performance brakes on these things. They get one set for the weekend. So you got to be smart about how you run your truck all weekend long. It's not brand new parts every time you go out. It's who's the better driver who can learn to manipulate the race car the way you need to as Blade Hildebrand. He's got a great idea. Look at pulling in the draft. There's steps that draft. out a little early, goes to the inside of Paul Morris. Is he able to make it work? Looks like Paul's like, okay, back it down, young man. I'm going to maybe let you have this. We got a lot of race to go. There is Robbie Gordon, Matty Brabs. He's slowly moving up. Cole Potts, he's hooking an anchor to Matty Brabs. He's following him through the pack as well. Well, there's one thing. When I was driving these trucks and I seen that orange truck behind me, you knew that you had to get your game going because Robbie Gordon and behind him, Matty Brabham, they're two, two of the best in the business right now. And you can see Robbie, he's trying to get underneath two guys right here. You'll see if he can go on the outside now. 
you see Gordon, he files back in behind the dude, behind our current champion, 2017 champion, Paul Morris, and the Ozland security truck. Look at that, six trucks in the air at the same time. Hildebrand, Morris right behind him. Robbie Gordon's got a great seat watching all the action. Meanwhile, Gordon, he's like, I gotta move up. I gotta get past this number one here. I gotta move Morris out of the way. But bad news for Robbie Gordon, he's got the young man Brabham right behind him. Gordon at one point in time years ago, yeah, he could win the majority of the races out there. That's no longer the case, man. We've got a lot of young talent out there, and any one of them can win. As you see, Brabham, he steps out back in the line. Pot, uh, Cole Potts, he does the same as well, kind of following each other through the path. Yeah, and one thing with Robbie, as you said, nobody has more laps than Robbie Gordon. He designed these trucks. He's built these trucks. He's created the series for these guys, but right now the competition is so, so intense that guys like Brabham, they're not intimidated by him anymore. They're ready to go race wheel to wheel with him, which makes it a lot of fun. Robbie Gordon created the beast, but he's having trouble controlling the animal now, as a lot of these guys are so fast. They've learned how to drive these trucks better than everyone else. And you see right now, there is a move. Robbie Gordon to the inside of Morris. Morris lets it go. Nothing you can do about that. You can't be on the outside and move the guy out of the way. Nice, smart move. And you see Morris goes to the outside. Brabham dives to the inside. Can he make it stick? Gets about three quarters of the truck up. That's going to be a clean pass. Now Morris, he's going to dive back to the inside. Not going to work. Cole Potts says, hey, Matty Brabs, I'm going with you. I'm following you to the front. Yeah, Potts, man, he just moved Morris out of the way, which is surprising right now. Paul Morris, he got guys a charger, man. He's our previous champion. He knows how to go fast. Truck just not to his liking right now. And boy, the air they're catching on that ramp coming downhill is just so impressive. And it's such a smooth landing as well, surprisingly. Well, that's the thing, you know, for those of you watching at home, it really doesn't give it any justice. I mean, these guys are flying the length of almost an American football field, jumping down that hill, but King Shocks picks up the landing so well, so smooth. As long as they're going straight, front end high, not bad. Front end low, not bad. Sideways, not so good. Not good. I tried that one time. Didn't work out too good in the rain on these steel ramps, but right now the sun's out, it's dry, the fans are cheering these guys on, and they are, look how close they run together in, in, in these this type of racetrack. And, and uh, it's so competitive, as I keep saying, Robbie Gordon hit another, another great pickup, torque pickup right there. So competitive right now, you never know who's going to win these things. But it's City Motorsports Park has offered some great racing thus far as we're almost halfway through race number one here, getting ready to go into our one and only, what is called our mandatory competition caution. That happens in each race, and the reason for that is to bunch the pack back up. So that is our mandatory competition caution halfway through. Race number one, a lot of action coming back right around the corner here from City Motorsports Park. Stadium Super Trucks on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Toyo Tires. We are Toyo, all or nothing. And by KMC Wheels, precision for imprecise environments. And here we are back Halfway through race number one, about to grab the green flag here for the second half at Sydney Motorsport Park. Out in front, it is Gavin Harlan. P2 is number seven, Speed Energy Toyo Tires of Robbie Gordon. Blade Hildebrand, he's in the mix right now as he dives to the inside of Robbie Gordon. How about that draft coming down that front straight that Robbie Gordon did? And that plays such a big, these trucks push such a big hole in there that it definitely makes a huge advantage. And, and they're, you know, they're going 140 miles an hour down that straightaway. They're, no, they're not kidding around. Absolutely, you know, these trucks, you know, their aerodynamic is not one of the things that they are. So the draft is that important. And it really makes a massive difference. As here we are, we hop on board with Matty Brabs. A lot going on there, a little contact into the back of Gordon. Trucks all over the place, and you see Cole Potts. He's able to take advantage of it as well, and a big torque wheelie. That Toyo tire hanging them up in the air on the inside of Blade Hildebrand. That's when you know you're getting the power to the ground, standing on the loud pedal. It's you see them all file in through this tight section. Well, that's one thing on these brakes, getting everybody bunched up again. Like, Potts loved it because he gained some spots. Robbie Gordon loved it, but Hildebrand, he was running second. He's all the way back to fifth right now. It's not hard to go from one spot back two or three spots in one row, especially on a restart when the pack is that close together. So right now, it is Gavin Harlan. He is out in front, but look at there is Matty Brabham looking at Robbie Gordon as Robbie Gordon looks back upon the developer's driver, the number 83. Harlan to the outside, Gordon to the inside, Brabham trying to go up the middle. They're all over the place once again. Who is still attached to the back bumper of of uh, the developer's number 83 driver? It's Cole Potts. Since the original oh. green flag, he has not lifted yet. 
And there is Gordon off the track, not losing the position just yet, but he is now to the young man. Potts to the inside, says, I'm staying with you, Brabs, we're going to the front. And then look at who wins the second right there, Matty Brabham, right straight into second place. Man, he's uh, started dead last. Oh, Robbie does go off course there quite a bit, lost two spots instantly going in the dirt. And I don't believe he had any help there, just ran it in a little too deep, really fast on that front stretch, as we were talking about with the draft and things. Gordon didn't get a good draft on, draft on that last, so he ran it in a little bit deeper and then to his dismay, ended up going real wide and out into the dirt. Well, as you said, right from the start of the show, who you don't know if you want to be leading this thing towards the end because that draft plays a big part. Can these guys running second or third get that win on the last lap? That's exactly it. With, with, with using the whole track later on as the, as the weekend goes on and then being the part of the draft on the very last lap, you may not want to be in the lead unless you've got a big lead over second place. So time will tell as we see Big Air jumping down the hill back to what we were just talking about on the front stretch here. And again, Robbie Gordon not close enough to necessarily be part of the draft the way he wanted to. He's in the tail end of that right there, so not really able to capitalize on our leaders. And you can see these guys going on that front straightaway, moving to the bottom of the track, trying to get out of that draft. Wow, they're going super fast. Hildebrand getting into the back of the Paul the Dude Morris. He must not remember how big Paul is when he gets out of that truck. <laughs> But, uh, oh, 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 there he's on the brakes a little bit too hard. As I said, these brakes are racing brakes, but these trucks are super heavy, and you don't want to overheat them, and so much for getting two wheels. Oh, oh, oh man. He's Hildebrand. A, this is a Joey Chitwood show right here. It is. He's Detroit. too young. He, do, he doesn't even know Joey Chitwood <laughs> once. So there is Hildebrand. Now, we've seen this before. We played Hildebrand. I'm not knocking a young man. He runs so well, but then he'll make one mistake, and he gets angry in the car, and it's just compounds one mistake after another. Hopefully, he can calm down, maybe a little usa. Yeah, usa. Usa. Relax a little bit, Blade. And here's what you want to do. Do what Matty Bravo does. That guy knows how to calm himself in the truck. Here we go, watching Hildebrand again. Look at that, up on two wheels. Did a great drop. He does that on purpose. I don't think that was on purpose for uh, for Hildebrand. They'll back up on the racetrack, throwing gravel everywhere. Robbie also doesn't do it at 80 miles an hour. So that was a pretty fast two wheel there as Hildebrand was up on two. Hopefully he can calm down and relax. Like you said, grab him. He's real mellow when a mistake is made. But right now, look at Cole Potts. He has a nice, clean truck. Normally, Cole will get in the back of somebody. He likes to move people around. He's not dirty about it, he's just aggressive, but he's nice and calm. Hood's not pushed up, the truck looks brand new. He's been following Bravo, but now look at, now he's in a fight for the lead, looking for a possible podium here as Bravo moves in the lead. Harlan, he steps back position in the P2, and Cole Potts in the HallmarkTrust.com number 60 in P3. Great run for these top three drivers. It sure is, man. Uh, grab him, man. That draft, he knows how to work it. You see him right now trying to block him. There's just no way. Just opens that door. And he, once you get on that inside, it's tough to run that fast turn one on the outside to, to keep your position. Perfect example right there is on the replay. Grab him, uses that draft, gets around. Harlan, not an easy guy to pass. And there's the Cole Potts I've been waiting for. Oh, there's that bent up. up nose. There he is. There's my old buddy Cole as he gets into the back of Harlan. I knew it was going to happen eventually here as Cole's the, tr the trace is running down, only two laps to go. He is going to get a little more aggressive. Being on the podium is great, but not being on top of the box, he's not going to be happy with that. As you see Robbie Gordon, he moves back into P4. He's got the best seat in the house. He's watching these top three drivers battle out for the win. In the driver's meeting, they said try to keep all wheels on racetrack. Uh, some of these guys aren't doing that great of a job, blowing a lot of dirt and grass up. See a little bit of smoke now coming off of Potts, more than likely that nose rubbing one of those front tires, throwing a little smoke off of it. That won't help him down this long straightaway either. Absolutely not. And as you said, they can get away the little bit with getting two wheels off the track, four wheels into the dirt and grass. That is going to be frowned upon, and penalties may be assessed from race control. So that's the uh, AASA, along with USAC and Jason Smith up there making those calls. But right now, the white flag is out. Matty Brabham and the Debilibus, headstrong KMC Wheels number 83. He's looking good, but United Fiber and Data Think Loud development of Gavin Harlan to 55. He led the majority of the race. He has dropped back to P2. Does he have what it takes to catch Brabham and pass him? Two different topics. Yeah, two completely different topics right now, and we'll see. Here they are off this big jump. Bradham has just a little bit of that lead. Ah, it's going to be hard, I think. I don't think there's enough time to draft up behind. As Cole Potts right now, he's waiting for one of these guys to make a mistake. You said earlier, different lines on the track. You see Cole Potts, he is now using some different lines. He's not following Matty Bradham anymore. He can't do that. No more follow the leader if he wants to move into P2 or even catch the lead. 
Only two turns and two jumps left to go, and the checkered flag is going to fly for race number one here at Sydney Motorspark. Motorport Spark for Boost Mobile Stadium Super Trucks, powered by Speed Energy. Cole Potts, I don't think he's close enough to move up in position. If he's smart, he'll be able to hang on to a P3. Matty Brabham. Is he far enough ahead, Davey, right now so the draft doesn't matter? Do you can get to the checkered flag before Harlan can capitalize on it? Well, I think so. Seems to be has not only that distance, but Maddie knows how to keep somebody behind him. You can see that he's gaining on it, but it's not going to be enough. And Maddie Brabham's going to take that checkered. Look at that. Maddie Brabs, P1. Right behind is Gavin Harlan, Cole Potts. Robbie Gordon, round out your top five is Hoffman. We'll be back to interview our winners in just a moment. And there is race one winner from City Motorsport Park, Matty Brabs, hanging loose off the window, doing his best. Joey Chitwood, there's your saying early, David Davy Hamilton. And here is our results after round 15. Matty Brabs to build us up on top of the podium. Gavin Harlan, Cole Potts, Robbie Gordon, Jeff Hoffman, he rounds out the top five. And let's go down, talk to our winner, Matty Brabs, see what he has to say about race one. Yeah, that was an awesome race. I mean, it was so much fun drafting. It was like shake and bake down the straight. I was like, you know, heaps of lights on the top of third on the limiter in a tow, and then in the draft I had no lights. So I was like, in, on my own I had no lights. So it was just awesome racing, and you know the dicing out there, door to door. I kind of just followed the guys through, and they, you know, made some holes, and I was lucky early on, and then, uh, yeah, just uh, so cool to get the win, the Devilbos truck on the P1, and uh, you know, Boost Mobile and all the guys, and, and we're back racing in Australia. So I mean, that's doesn't get much better than that. And here are their points after rounds 15. Matty Brown with considerable leave over Gavin Harlan. Robbie Gordon, Hoffman, and Potts rounds out your top five. Let's go down and talk to Gavin Harlan. This track is absolutely insane, especially with the stadium super trucks. The draft here is mega. I mean, these trucks punch such a big hole in the air, so you could be 10 car lengths back and just suck up on them. And the downhill jump, the whole atmosphere at Sydney Motorsport Park is amazing. Um, to come from towards the back and still get a second place, still really pumped on that and still gonna go for the win tomorrow. Well, congratulations to our top three, Cole Potts with his third place. We'll be right back with race number two from Sydney Motorsports Park. And here we are back with Boost Mobile, Stadium Super Trucks powered by Speed Energy, Sydney Motorsports Park here in Sydney, Australia. Round 16 about to get going. Here's your starting grid, a full reverse order from race number one here for this weekend. Matty Nolan, he's sitting on the pole next to him. Russ Ingall, Paul Morris, Hoffman, Hildebrand, Potts, and Gavin Harlan, Robbie Gordon, and Matty Brabham. The way this works is points from qualifying combined with points from race number one. Those combined decide who sits where in the starting grid here for the last and final race here at Sydney Motorsports Park. And that puts Matty Brabham once again all the way at the back of the pack as we're on board with the number seven, Robbie Gordon. He's ready, poised, hoping for a podium in race one just out of the outside. There's Gavin Harlan sitting in P2 from race one, hoping for a victory. Jeff Hoffman just off the podium as well in the live United Fiber Think Loud development truck. And there is Matty Nolan. We saw him, Davey Hamilton, go for a wild ride in race number one. Yeah, he probably had got some new shorts after that first <laughs> race. That uh, was quite a ride. Did a great job, though, at saving that truck. A little bit of luck, but he did a good job keeping it on all fours. And here we are off and running again, just like race number one. Deja vu all over again. Matty Nolan with a big jump off the start and an early lead going into turn number one. And that's our best place to be is in the front, you think. But this long straightaway, as we found out from, from the first race, the draft plays such a big part. And if you're leading, you're kind of a sitting duck because that guy behind you has a good shot to draft right by you. Absolutely. So Nolan back out in front, calm, cool, collected from race number one. Hopefully he can hang on to the lead a little longer here. As we see, there is Blade Hildebrand getting a little bit of early pressure from the Hoff. Jeff Hoffman in the number 47, looking very racy in race number one. Not quite to get the podium spot that he wanted, but he definitely has an opportunity to do so right now. And then we see Gordon and Brabham. Different lines though coming through here, staying up on the gas. We are now running a longer track than you saw in race one. Look at them, three wide as they come up over that crest going into a new turn. Keep in mind, the majority of these competitors have not seen this course. They have never been around it. They didn't get practice on it. So that's a heck of a way to learn your breaking points. And here's another, the guys that are local, the Australians, 
that have raced on this track, huge advantage because they've been on this, not in these tracks, but they at least know which way to turn, where the breaking points are. So it's, it's a surprise for a lot of these, uh, the Americans that came over. Well, it happens to be number one and two right now as Russ Ingall and Paul the Dude Morris, who have burnt many laps in all configurations of this course, are out in front and automatically checking out on the rest of the pack because they knew exactly where they're going. So kudos to them. That's the way it works. We're looking for a lot out of Russ Ingall. He is a superstar in supercar racing. He's won things all over the UK, Australia, Europe, you name it. He's done it. And he says, hey, man, Qualifying, race one, practice. Yeah, 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 I'm learning the truck. Right now, I'm taking the gloves off. These kids want to swap paint with me. They're going to grab the horns of the bull right now, man. I'm going to give it to them, and that's what Russ Ingall's about to do. Yes, he is. Look at it. Hildebrand already coming by, getting back in second place. That draft played a good part. We seen after that first lap. Whoa! No. Matty Brabham, I was just getting ready to talk about him. He gained some spots in that new area, past Robbie Gordon, and right off the bat, because uh, he knows that track better than Robbie does. Big mistake right there. See if we can get an opportunity to go back and check that out. Again, we saw Robbie Gordon do it in race number one, round board with Matt Brabham. He says, oh man, I'm coming in a little too hot. As he goes real wide, collects himself. Look at him though in the car. Stays calm, he never freaks out, man. No, he knows, long ways to go here. He started in the back of the first race, got a win out of it. He's done that many times. He knows he can do it again, just calm and collective. And here we are on board with Blade Hildebrand, the number 68 Empire Destructor Chuck. We saw him running really well in race one, had a little bit of trouble, had a little bit of mind issues right there, kind of freaking himself out. He calming down, looking nice, cool, calm, and collective as he's running well and up towards the front. Well, you look at that curb on this new section on that oh, left-hander, oh. it really gets these trucks up in there. They got to be careful We how many times we've seen that curb get these trucks up on two wheels and sometimes tipping them over. Getting up on three, three wheeling's a good feeling, as I said before, but two wheeling is not the way to go around this course. Just saw Blade Hildebrand did that earlier on, but right now he's looking comfortable. As we saw a moment ago, we were on board with Gavin Harlan. He was almost stepping completely off the track. Didn't get all four tires over there, but pushing the limits of what is considered okay. Is a, it's, There's not a whole lot in Boost Mobile Stadium Super Trucks powered by Speed Energy that is illegal. But there are a few things that are, we'll say, that are frowned upon, and that is all four wheels off into the grass right there. So Gavin Harden able to collect himself as Ron board with Hildebrand, looking back at the Oz security, the number one, the champ, the dude, Paul Morris. Right behind him, it is Russ Engel. Look at, going way to the inside, in the draft, Gordon. I don't know if Gordon knew Brabham was there, oh, pushing no, Brabham knew. way <laughs> over. Say, I was trying to be nice, I was trying to be nice. Pushing him way over there. Then he drops back in the draft. We see a replay on board with Bravo. Yeah, you know, you just that's what you have to do. I mean, this is this is all kinds of racing when a draft is in effect. You try to go to the bottom of the racetrack, block that line, and whoever's trying to pass you, make them go on the outside of you. But Brabham had a commitment. Oh, oh there we got Potts on top. Ooh, the 47. Hoffman. Yeah, Hoffman. Those two, two guys are good buddies, but not after this, maybe. Look at these guys here. <laughs> As we see these guys hopefully get pulled apart, we'll see what happens with this accident here. Momentarily, we'll be back with Boost Mobile Stadium Super Truck Racing right around the corner. And the elbows have been up all weekend long here from Sydney Motorsport Park at Boost Mobile Stadium Super Trucks presented by Speed Energy and big contact. Cole Potts gets into Jeff Hoffman. The Hoff was on his own right there. Potts gets in the back of him and they are hooked together right now. The horns are locked, you see right here, boom, Cole. Nothing major, just trying to race to the inside right there. The two of them both running out of real estate. The hole was open, he took it, but it closed quickly, and that just happens. But competition yellow, they're, these are, they're not out of the game. That's, that's a great exactly part with this, right. they're that's not a, out of the game. That's a good point, Davey Hamilton. The competition yellow is still around the corner, the mandatory comp caution that'll give them an opportunity to catch back up to the pack, but a lot of work out for Cole Potts and Hoffman as they're going to be all the way in the back of the pack. Yeah, the sure is. The race. A lot of, as you say, a lot of work. Oh, Paul Morris losing another spot there. A little surprise with Paul. This guy, boy, his landing isn't the best. I've seen him come off that jump a few times. And when you land on the front tires, you need to make sure they're straight. Yes. And if you have any turn them at all, that's the way the truck's going to go. So he's he's fighting that battle just a little bit. Yeah, right and now. as you know from experience, you've been there, done that. Yeah, absolutely. You know. You always want the trucks. I like them when they land on the back tires first and, and then comes on the soft front. Landing. Nice and soft. It keeps the truck a lot straighter. But sometimes, you know, if you don't get it just right and you get on those front tires, man, you need to make sure those things are straight. And there we go right now. Blade Hildebrand 
having the race of his life out in front looking very comfortable. He showed the speed and his ability the last few races from Road America. He just wrote a clinic in qualifying, moving to the pack, keeping that momentum going right into City Motorsport Park here. A little bit of trouble in race one, but he's back, he's calm, he's cool, he's collected, and he's leading the pack here at Boost Mobile Stadium Super Trucks as we hop on board with the headstrong DeVilbus, number 83 of Matty Brabham. He's getting a good look at Russ Ingall right now in the Boost Mobile number nine. We've also got, looks like Morris as well, so a lot of work cut off for Matty Brabham and Robbie Gordon almost halfway through the race yet, and they really haven't started moving up through the pack. Not yet. They're coming slowly, but not like they they normally do. But I'll tell you what, Engel, he, we know he's a champion. We yeah. know he wins in everything, right? But just to come and get in these trucks, it's not that easy. What a great job he's doing. After race one, he learned a little bit. Race two, man, he's fighting for some uh, position here. I, I, I think the majority of these guys out here should hope and pray that Russ Engel doesn't do a lot of racing in 2019 in Super Trucks because he's going to be stealing a lot of podiums away from him. He has that magic, and this guy is so good. And like I say, you know a great race driver. Matty Brab is another one. He put, I, if I had an IndyCar team, I'd put him in it. I mean, the guy, is, he's fantastic. Or, or I should say any kind of team. He's, uh, he's a guy that could get the job done no matter what steering wheel he's hanging on to. And there we are. We see. Paul, the dude Morris, the number one Oslin security truck, hiking it up on three, a big torque wheelie. As we get into the straightaway, look at Russ is saying, hey man, I know you got more downforce if you're behind me. I don't want you behind me. Trying to do a little bit of a snake going down there. Russ, he steps out, tries to go to the inside of his teammate Morris, not able to make it work. Matty Brabham too far behind to capitalize on that move. So he's gonna stay in a position he's in as he dives to the inside of Russ right there. Back to the outside, trying to give him the old Jimmy Juke right there. Not able to make it happen. And here comes Robbie Gordon. He fell back just oh. a little bit. Look, look at it. There's Brabham. Oh, a little contact there, but left that hole open just a little bit. He slides in there. Robbie Gordon, he's snaking right behind both these guys. One of the most talented drivers in the field, Russ Ingall, just got fooled by the oldest joke in the book, oldest trick in the book right there. Dives to the inside, back to the outside, back to the end again. Not able to block Brabham. Brabham reached down into his bag of trips, was able to get around the number nine, puts a little gap in between him and Gordon, and he is off to the races trying to run to the front of the pack. Well, one thing he knows, he's in front of one of the heaviest, uh, or the most competitive guy here, and that's Robbie Gordon. He is ahead of him right now. He knows he beat him in the first race. He knows he can do it again. Now with his extended track layout right now, he has a little bit more time to, to make up some time. And let's not forget the leaders. Yeah, they're pulling away, but right around the corner is going to be the mandatory competition caution, which is going to bunch the punch the, the pack back up again as they'll go as a single file rolling restart. So right now, all these guys kind of towards the back that are battling that have the speed to win, they need that comp caution to be able to help them move up and get on top of the podium. How about Engel? He's not done. No, he's, he's not said, done. He said, Matty Brabham passed me, watch this. Let me try to get him back. Pushed him around a little bit. He's learning from him as well, learning the lines to take, how, the, how to maneuver these trucks. And uh, man, what a great job. Right now, Oslin security number one, Paul Morris up on three, hiking it up. Matty Brabs keeps it on all four, getting the power of the ground with those Toyo tires. As they get ready to come around to the front stretch of the Toyo tires, ramps sends them flying down the front stretch. Kink shots, picks them up. Not a lot of draft going on here. Hey, look at hashtag dude mower as Brabham's off mowing the lawn right there, off in the pucker brush. Not where he wants to be, but able to still stay with the pack. Oh, Drops Brabham oh, loses a lot of time problem. right there. Something must have happened when he came down. Landed hard on that front end right there. Looks like maybe a steering. Looks like maybe a steering issue going on. But you can see him going off the ramp. Hits it nice and square. Goes down. It tips to the left a little bit on those front tires. Off in the grass. Sometimes, you know, if you bend the steering racks in these trucks or the power steering goes away, they are very, very hard to turn. You can see him losing a lot of ground. The yellow flag right now out. And we'll grab him, pulls in, winner of race number one. His day is over so far. We'll be right back with the second half of Boost Mobile State and Super Trucks Racing. And we are back, Sydney Motorsports Park here in Sydney, Australia, with Boost Mobile State and Super Trucks, presented by Speed Energy. Wild race so far that we just saw race one's winner, Matty Brabham. Trying to make a pass, going over one of the big jumps, has to pull off early. A lot of crazy action. Davey Hamilton, it, it's too bad Matt Nolte's up, not up here in the booth with us right now because he'd be going bananas. <laughs> he actually would be going bananas right now. But Matty Brabham, you know, just the good luck in the bad, right? Something happened and he pointed to the back of the truck. I thought maybe some stream, but you'd seen him point to the crew guys in the back. So we'll see if he can get it fixed. And right now, Blade Hildebrand wide in the outside, high and wide, Blade Hildebrand. 
trying to get around Harlan. Harlan not able to make it happen there. They're good. Nice, calm, cool, but there's Morris. He's going to stuff it to the inside as well. He makes a pass. Play says, no way, dude. That's not happening. I'm not letting it go that easy. Absolutely not as he puts up a big battle. But the dude says, listen, kid, I'm not letting you come through like that, man. Great battle. Blade Hildebrand, we saw him in race one. Lead for a while, but then having some trouble. He's led the majority of the race, but slowly dropping back. Hopefully, he'll be able to just calm down. Don't let the one mistake ruin your whole race. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one thing with Morris, his jumps, he comes down just on one side yeah. or the other a lot this time on this, these last few races. And he's got, he has it figured out. He's running second right now. That's where we're used to seeing him. How about Robbie Gordon? Somebody challenged him. Robbie looks like Cole yeah, Potts. Yeah, Cole Potts. Look at this. Potts in, in Hoffman right there, the Hoff. Last time we saw them, they were like two bulls hooked together out in the bush. And now all of a sudden, here they are halfway through the back battling for what could be a possible podium for one of these guys. And these are the guys going, thank you for that competition, Yellow. Cot catches it back up. Just body damage to these trucks. That's all it is, just a body damage. Mechanically, they're fine. And they're, they're trying to fight their way back to the front. And here they go again, side by side, both trying to get by Robbie Gordon. Well, Hoffman not happy about Potts getting in him before. Granted, it was just a racing accident. Hoffman doesn't know that, though. He couldn't see how it had happened. So now he's got some aggression. He wants to get out, and I bet you he would like to use Cole Potts to get it out right now. As you see him latching on to the back of Robbie Gordon, a little bit of a mistake, sets the truck down a little early there, rolls off the throttle, back on it again. Now they're going to go too wide. It is Potts and Hoffman. This is like a ticking time bomb about to go off these two. Well, right now, Potts needs to get in the draft behind him right now, take advantage of this long stretch straight away, see if he can hold shot him down into turn one. Uh, and meanwhile, the, the Hoffman and Potts are both trying to draft uh, Robbie right now. So right now it is Hoffman to the outside. We haven't seen this pass work too much today. Yeah, it's not going to work today either, this no. time either. Yeah, that, that's going to be a tough one going there real hot. We've seen many of the competitors try to make it work. Smoke bellowing off the tires. Toyo tires smoke everywhere off the number seven. Speed energy Toyo tire KMC wheel boost number seven. Not able to make it work, and then he's right back. And it is a Ingall sandwich right there. Who's the meat in that one? It's Russ Ingall as he drops back two positions right there. Robbie Gordon and Potts. Potts loves being in the heat of the battle. That's where this kid shines off by himself and qualifying, not so much. You get him right in the midst of a battle like this, and this is where he shines. This is where he's on top of his game. Big contact between the boss and Potts, Potts goes way to the outside. He's like, what are you doing, Robbie? <laughs> yeah, Robbie definitely stuck it in there deep, didn't he, and moved Potts right out of the way. These guys, they need only three laps to go right now. They need to, to be nice right now and get to the front of this field. Only three laps left to go. Here we are, replay on board with Robbie Gordon. Gordon coming in hot, way to the inside, and just punts Potts off the track. Not, 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 that, not even Robin's racing type of thing, just a full on, Punts him off the track right there. Yeah, just an overcorrection, really. Got on that rear brake, brought the brake in around, let off of it, straightened him out, and see you later. You Knocked him right off the track. You don't see a whole lot of that from Robbie Gordon happening. And normally, when you do, he meant to do it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not calling him out, but I'm calling him out. So right now, we are looking at the number one Ausland security, Paul Morris. He is in P2 right now. Right behind him, Blade Hildebrand looking to move up one spot. Doesn't, there he goes. Now he tucks it behind Morris, nice and smart. Out again, maybe out a little bit early. He's gonna try to go around the outside again. Two laps in a row, the first time didn't work. I don't know if it's gonna work this time either. Coming in, running real hot. If Morris stays on the gas, he might not be able to make it happen. Oh, right there, you know, he does take that wide line, gets by him, impressive, you know. Hildebrand's been working that move for a while. Oh, and Morris says, no, no, not right now. I'm gonna get back underneath you. Maybe I'll move you out of the way. Not the first time I've done this. So gets back into that second position. There we go. Oh, crossover move. Man, some classic racing for that second spot. Some good racing right there, but that allows Morris to be on the inside of turn three. So Hoffman, he's watching all this unfold. Morris stays in front of Hildebrand. So oh, we see Hoffman getting really sideways right there. He hangs on to it. He stays nice and collected off that jump. That boost mobile ramp really sends him flying down that hill there, coming out of three into four. Now this is the section earlier. We saw the big contact with Gordon Potts. Nice clean racing thus far for the dude and Hildebrand. Two laps left to go. I think we're inside of that. A lap and change. I believe we're going to be seeing the white flag coming out. The mandatory comp caution's already in the record books. Short amount of time left to grow. As we see right now, here is the battle for second place. It is Morris and 
Hildebrand, Hoffman, he is in the mix as well. You know who's loving all this is Harlan. He has checked out. These guys race for second, third, fourth positions, beating on each other. Meanwhile, Gavin Harlan, he has checked out. Look at that. He's got 15 truck lead going down this back straightaway. Not to take anything away from the other competitors out here, but without Matty Brabham in the field, Harlan doesn't have any competition today. He, he is in a class of his own right now. He has shown that this weekend that he and Brabham's have just been a step above the rest. Potts has been in the mix all weekend long. Hildebrand's been fast, Hoffman's been fast. Those have been your main guys, but Brabham, and Harlan, they've been the fastest out there. Har or Brabham's out, Harlan, he is just out there, just straight chilling. Yeah, here we go, some more of that draft. White flags out right now. Paul the Dude Morris first went into that corner. Hildebrand right behind him, as they say. Look at the lead. Gavin's Whoa. loving this right now. Underneath, man, these guys are battling for that. Uh, they, they all want that podium spot, and there's three trucks. Only one, uh -oh. Two of them are gonna get it, one of them's gonna be out. Oh, oh, oh no, how about that? Hoffman just running it in way too deep right there. Hildebrand, he was going around the outside. Here's a bit of a replay, see what's happening. We're on board, but I believe Morris, oh, oh on board with Hildebrand. Hildebrand, yeah. And Hoffman comes in real hot. See it slow motion. Way too hot right there. Just tried to outbreak him right there. Hildebrand, he's an innocent bystander. He was just, you know, taking that a high side. Next thing he knows, a truck's in his left side door and takes them both out. Yep, and that just, and Hildebrand, he was holding the line that he was before. Look at that, Matty Brabham is back out for the last lap. But how about this for second place right now? Cole Potts, after they, they beaten and bang him back there, he's worked his way out from being hung up on the racetrack. Yeah to maybe a shot at second place in, the, in this event. Potts and Hoffman hung up together, going back all the way to the last place, the two of them together, battling up towards the front. Hoffman just took himself out of the race and Hoffman with him. I'm sorry, Hoffman and Hildebrand with him. And now Potts is racing for a podium from last into third and pushing Morris in the number one Austin security. And then the number 60, HallmarkTrust.com of Potts right now as we're on board with him. What an amazing run for him as it looks like Morris checks up a little bit there. Potts almost gets in the back of him. Then look at this. What a story for him. Himself. All by his lonesome. You don't see that very often at Stadium Super Trucks. The number 55, Gavin Harlan, just nice and easy. Brings it home for a checkered flag. What a great race for that young man. And how about for second place? Who's going to get it? Is it going to be Morris or is it going to be Potts? They're side by side coming down. Oh, I can't tell from that angle, but it looks like Morris has got it. Just by a little bit. Great racing. Gavin Harlan, congratulations. Way out front. We'll be back in just a little bit to talk to our winner. Stadium Super Trucks on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Speed Energy. Fuel the need. The need for speed. And by United Fiber and Data. Ingenuity in infrastructure. And here we are back at City Motorsports Park. Two races are now in the record books. We had some wild, high-flying, bar-banging, elbows up racing. And after round 16, here are the final results. Gavin Harlan put on a clinic over Paul Morris. Cole Potts as they went over the finish line side by side. Robbie Gordon, Russ Ingall, Blade Hildebrand, Matty Nolan, and Brabham round out your top nine. We have a moment to go down and talk to our winner. Your impressions on racing here this weekend? Wow. I, th I thought this track was amazing yesterday, but winning today makes me like it just that much more. Uh, I mean, I like that we did the big track today. It was a lot of fun, super high speeds. These trucks are cranking up on three wheels. It's a really good time coming out here to Sydney Motorsports Park, that's for sure. And there's our results after round 16. Matty Brabham still on front. Gavin Harlan, he's making up some points on the championship. Robbie Gordon, Cole Potts, and Jeff Hoffman round out your top five for the world championship points. Hey, folks, check us out. Coming up next, Glen Helen, November 30th through December 1st and 2nd. Big event. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and a website for Boost Mobile Stadium Super Trucks presented by Speed Energy and David Hamilton. I'm Sean Cerberry. We'll see you at our next race.